In this video, I want to do a demonstration on the install for the program and drivers for the EZP 2019 programmer. Uh, the units usually come with the programmer, there's a CD-ROM, and there's a USB cable. And there's no auto install on the CD. It has to be manually installed, the program and the drivers. And then at the end of the video, I'm just going to give a quick demonstration on uh, how to uh, read and write uh, the hex files to the uh, EE prompt. Okay, so we'll get started here. Uh, of course, the first thing is take the CD-ROM, um, load it in your DVD drive. Okay, and you're going to see a folder come up, EZP2019. And if you try to uh, go to the drivers folder, and if you try to uh, install a driver by double clicking it, uh, it will not install because there's no auto install on it. Okay, so what you got to do is uh, you have to go to your control panel. Uh, go to uh, device manager okay and I have the programmer plugged in right now so I'll unplug it okay and right now you can see it's it's showing right here on other devices so I'll unplug it and that will go away okay and I'll plug it back in again okay and it'll come up with, under the other devices so just um, right click on that and do update driver and browse okay and we want to get that uh, DVD which is right there all right and it's do next okay and it's installing the drivers for it okay and it says that it was uh, successfully updated okay so we'll close that out and we can see here now it says EZP 2019 driver installed all right, so that's all there is to install the driver. Uh, on, I'm just going to uh, make some changes here, and then I'll be right back, and uh, we'll install the uh, program. In the second half of the video, I want to demonstrate how to install the program for the EZP 2019 programmer. So basically, all you do is go to your file folder, access the CD-ROM, and you're going to have this folder here, EZP 2019. Best way I found is um, highlight it, uh, copy it, okay, minimize this, move it over to your desktop. So just do a paste, okay. And sometimes uh, it won't come in the first time. It takes a little bit, okay. If it doesn't come in the first time. <clears throat> just cancel it out okay and go back in again and redo it copy it minimize it over here paste it okay and there it installed it here now okay double click it this application file is the one that we're after okay so highlight that right click it you want to send that to the desktop it makes it easier to launch create the shortcut minimize this bring this down here okay this was the first try I guess that I went through so we're just going to delete that out of here okay now we'll launch this okay and here's the software launched um, I have a EEPROM in the programmer right now and the programmer is connected you see it says ready down here I'm going to unplug the programmer okay just to show okay it says not connected now I'll plug it back in the USB port it says, it says ready uh, so I have to set up a few things here for the EEPROM that I have in there is a 24 EEPROM ATMEL and the EEPROM is a AT24C02 okay now I'm going to read some data off, and I have some I have some data on the CE prompt, so I'll do a read here. Okay, and you can see there's an AGMS over here. Uh, I'll make this uh, lowercase a uh, an uppercase, so I'll change this six here uh, to a four ASCII. <clears throat> so it's going to be a 41 ASCII. 
okay you can see it changed it to an uppercase a here so i'm going to just write that down to the eprom okay it's written down right now i'm going to read it back okay so it reads the uppercase back all right you can see down here it states the uh, you know uh, read complete write complete so it'll let you know that it was completed and we'll change this back to a six okay now we're back to a lower case and we'll write that down okay and we'll read that back okay and it read it back as a lower case so basically uh, that's all it's to it's the easiest way I found because there's no auto install on that CD so it all has to be done manually okay so um, I hope this helps